I'm back. All right, everybody. Sorry for the delay in the video update. I was on vacation visiting my brother and being super happy with for several reasons that will be discussed in this video and either a next video or I might just add on to this video. All right. Uh, I got a new camera. So I'm trying to see how this works out. All right. First, Gazis did not breed, or Axizi, I don't actually remember how to pronounce that, did not breed while I was gone. Disappointment, but I can live with it. Uh, second thing in this tank, everything survived. That's good. The uh, water sprite's doing okay. That part, not so, that over there, not as so much. Duckweed actually thinned out a lot, and I'm kind of confused with that. Um, oh, there's a female. She's still in gold, in gold breathing color. I don't know why. Alright, first reason I'm super happy. Uh, this tank. Baby tears. Alright, I got some baby tears when I went to Seattle. I had never seen baby tears until I saw a video, uh, Dustin, one of your videos, and, uh, I, I saw it and I was like, wow, that's a really cool plant, uh, nice carpet looking thing, I wanna, I wanna get that. I looked everywhere, I couldn't find it, and, lucky me, I found it in Seattle. Perfect condition, I mean, literally, perfect condition, I'm, I can't emphasize that enough. Nothing was broken. I mean, nothing was dying. Everything was just perfect. All right. Oh, another thing. They had endlers for sale. Endlers live bearer, either sub sub uh, species of guppy or a new species. People do still don't know. But anyway, oh, check that out. They're flaring at each other. They definitely love each other or like each whatever fish word is. I don't know. They probably know fish word for it. Okay. Uh, baby tears. Uh, Dustin has species Sunday, today's Tuesday, and yeah, maybe I'll come up with a catchy name later. Uh, uh, suggestions please. Anything that runs the Tuesday. Species Sunday. Whatever. Okay, baby tears. Info. This, Dustin says it is not a beginner plant. Not a different beginner plant. He said it twice in his species Sunday species Sunday video. But contrary to his beliefs, it is an intermediate, be, intermediate to obviously expert plant. It is obviously not a beginner plant because it needs some light, and CO two CO two would be definitely appreciated. I might get some CO two for this tank or the twenty nine gallon. Thinking about it. Um, so baby tears, I'm gonna, do not get any Corys or Plecos or Odos when you have this plant, they will kill it. Especially Corys and Odos, or definitely Plecos. Do not get Plecos or Corys, they will destroy it. They will uproot it and they will eat it. The Corys not so much, the Plecos will definitely eat it. He is flaring all the time, I don't know why. So, um, let me just feed them real quick. That white stuff is P uh, discus buffer, which lowers, sometimes lowers, and other times just buffers the pH. I put it in with their food, so every time it feeds them, it gets a little lower. Okay. So I gotta test pH a little later. I'll show you how to do that. Alright, um, so baby tears. You do not, you need, you need, uh, moderate to highlight uh you don't actually need that much fertilization or co2 though it is much appreciated and it'll go fra grow faster uh so yeah just make sure you don't have any up uh, things that can eat or uproot it uh what else it'll form a nice carpet in about like six weeks it should be good uh produces by runners makes a carpet i also got some dwarf sag or sag, probably sag, I'm pretty sure it's sag. Nice beginner plan, I trimmed it and everything. Uh, so baby tears. This is 
smallest aquarium plant known to man. Aquarium plant emphasized. Cytoplankton is the smallest plant known to man. So, um, yeah, baby tears, great carpet plant if you have light. This is probably not the best light for it. I'm thinking about getting the, um, whatever it's called, like the dual light system or something from Marineland that has daylight and nighttime mode. I, it looks really cool. Like, I have it on my 29 gallon, but I don't have the big version. I think I'm just going to get the big version for this tank. Or when I get my rack of fish tanks, I'm just going to get really big version for each side, each rack. It'll cost a lot, but it'll be totally worth it. So, Lutila. It looks pretty well. It doesn't look like it's dying or anything. I, I don't see it producing any runners, but... Uh, what else? Baby tier. So, intermediate to expert plant. Looks amazing. Actually, kind of looks like green baby tears. I guess that's kind of what the name is for. Alright, so here's some info on what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing a back to the basics kind of thing um, where it just shows you testing water, water changes, stuff like that, just for any beginners who see this. Uh, wow, they are really going at it right now. That looks so cool. If you have some dwarf cichlids, if you see them flare, that is that is lucky. They're they're amazing. Probably don't flare unless they're like defending territory or trying to get a mate. So I got two sponge filters in there. Hagen, Hagen, something like that. Uh, it is really hot upstairs in my room right now, like where I am. I mean, it is seriously really hot because we left and something went wrong with the AC, and now I'm burning hot. I'm actually sweating right now, and I'm not even doing anything. So baby tears definitely get some. Uh, there's some right there. I don't know how I got there. So when you get it, you just want to take out the steel wool, separate it a, little, a few times if it's a really big thing. If it's small, probably just separate it like once or twice. Um, then put plant it a little bit away from each other. Then they should grow together in about six, three to six weeks. Uh, these guys will probably breed anytime soon. I mean, they're flaring. She's in breeding colors. She's been there for a while. They've been going in the pot. He's flaring like crazy, and it looks awesome. Dustin's cockatoidy looks pretty cool. I mean, it's got middle fin extension, which I haven't seen, but I'm pretty sure it's the wild type, which isn't that colorful. Oh, yeah. That's the other reason. Booyah! Got some Epistogramma cockatoidy, female orange flashes, and a male. Actually, I think mine might be orange flashes instead of some kind of rare thing. I don't know. Orange flash is usually completely orange. I don't know. I'll see. I'll find out. Uh, she's looking great. Okay. I'll be right back with the 29 gallon. Uh, I'm just going to talk about the 10 gallon right now. Uh, it did not work very well. My dad came home from his trip to, with his brother to get his airplane stuff. Uh, the female crib died. I can't find the male crib, but he's probably dead too. They were never breeding for me anyway, so I don't... I mean, I I love them because they were really cool fish. But, no harm done, really. So, baby tears should make a nice carpet in this tank. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, record on breather bags. Totally worth it. Definitely work. Get yourself some of those right now. They work like crazy. Uh, fish. Transporting fish in your airplane. I asked this on epistogramma.com and by, owned by Ted Ju Judy. But I'm just going to tell you guys right now. If, uh, if they can, there's an exception. You can go over 3.4 ounces. It has to be in a non spoke container like the cordon breather bags, for example. Uh, they just, as long as the fish are swimming around, you're pretty much good, because last time I checked, there's no bomb that's livable in, so, yeah, pretty, pretty much makes sense. Uh, a little bit of algae problem. I'm definitely going to get some Odo cats for this tank. If I start eating up the baby tears, I'll, I'll get them out. Um, maybe I'll get some shrimp. Cherry shrimp. They also had tra cherry shrimp there. Uh, I was thinking about getting them, but I wasn't totally sure if they were going to make it through security and everything. So next time I see them, I'm definitely going to get them. 
I might just get ask Dustin for some. I know he has a, a lot. Um, so I definitely need someone to clean up the algae in this tank, and I'm pretty sure the cherry shrimp would work. And I'm also pretty sure that these guys would keep their population in check. What is he doing? Definitely following him. Mm -hmm. Come on. Get in this pot. And then do 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 give me some eggs, which will give him some, give him some money. Alright, I'll be right back with uh twenty-nine gallon and dwarf sag care.